Arkansas, but they were a top 25 team, did not show up against Missouri. So a lot of question marks for Rick Barnes and Eric Musselman to start this game. They shot just 29%. And they, they missed so many shots, Arkansas did, around the rim. And Missouri only had one block. It was just the, the, the length, the physical bumps that Arkansas couldn't handle. One of the issues that Rick Barnes has to keep his eye on early is last year, Arkansas completely took the Scobie out of the game. Arkansas early, they're shading the floor, funneling everything to the right. Can Tennessee capitalize on it? Be fascinating to watch. Same defensive principles they put on Kobe Bryant when Musselman was coaching in the NBA. Dennis can see one of the best defensive teams in the country, but our one on one against E Pons this year. E Pons coming in tonight, Tom, had given up nine points as the on ball defender for the entire season. He in a five minute, 15 second span. It was crazy. He almost flipped the game. I was doing it that night with Carl Ravitch, and he had a play. I don't know if we'll have it later or not. Tom, he was literally six. first two minutes and 16 seconds. No, I, I think what Eric wants to see is can his big lineup be effective tonight because against Missouri, Musselman had to go small. He played four guards and one big, and it did not work. So he's going with a bigger Sid. It did create some mismatches on the defensive end, but we had the mismatch on the offensive end, so it was worth it. Don't have that same issue this season. No, M Musselman last year, good, really good pass and a good cut. And great recovery speed and team recovery link Tennessee. Arkansas last year, Tom, Mason Jones and Isaiah Joe could make some hard guarded shots. Arkansas doesn't have a guy like that this year. Eric told you and I today, it's the first time in the last five years as a head coach, he's had to tighten the reins and talk about shot selection, and I will no longer allow bad shots. They got away with some in non-conference. They're getting good looks here. They got decent looks against Missouri. They just couldn't make any. They went three for 23 on layups. Yeah, that's a, boy, it's hard to win ball games like that. And I like what Arkansas has done. They they watched that Alabama film, and what did Alabama do to Tennessee on Saturday? They spread them out and turned the game into one-on-one. -on -one. And so far, number 11 for Arkansas, Tate has been really, really good driving that ball in this game. A Razorback turnover, giving it back to Tennessee. The ball is just two for seven to start this game. Johnson, trying to work. Him several times, and they will need that extended release tonight against Vanover, who's averaging almost three blocks a game. Second best shot blocker in the league. Alabama. And Eric Musselman has watched that film multiple times with his guys saying, Let's spread Tennessee out, and when you have a chance, really played well to kill the ball right now. He's driven it hard, he's had some physical box offs on the defensive end. I love the start by the Hogs. Tom on the road, not coming out shooting jump shots, not trying to have anything pretty about their game, getting dirty baskets, body low baskets on the road is how you win in the SEC. No answer from deep on the other end. Great swing, and on the skip pass, Josiah Jordan James has his second consecutive bucket, and the ball's within one. It's almost a guarantee in basketball. When you push that thing in your conversion offense up one side of the floor, if you can find the back side on the first pass, hey. That's, I think it's a difficult thing, Tom, to ask of your team in a two-day prep that we're going to shade the entire floor right. Can Arkansas pull it off? If so, man, that's a really that's a really good thing for the Hogs on the road. Do it again. So uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks almost had to think of a counter to their original plan. You mentioned it earlier. Eric Musselman said when he was in the NBA in one game against Kobe, the entire team forced Kobe to the right. How many times in the NBA does the entire team have to change what they do for one guy? That's been a really short list in Kobe's on. Baseline drive and a kick out. Lance Jackson off the mark. Arkansas is not a great shooting team. Tennessee will run. make a play. So their system has to get them good looks. 
And probably the message for Rick Barnes in his last time out, though, was the same thing he told his guys on Sunday, that I will not accept when the other team plays harder than us. I think Arkansas has played harder so far, and it's shown up. Arkansas, 12 rebounds in the game so far to Tennessee's. Think about Santiago Viscovi. Looks like a Bob. Bob. No, it does not. The jumper over the top of him from Jalen Tate. Half dozen for the grad transfer for Northern Kentucky. And Tate has really played well. Nice back cut. And shot selection. Well, Fitz, he learned some moves from Isaiah Joe this summer, playing with Joe and Mason Jones. He said, I try to guard Isaiah. He put a move on me and score. And instead of getting mad, I'd say, hold, hold on. Walk me through that move. Same set. Moody. And an Arkansas turnover. As he stills, averages 13 a game, hasn't scored yet, and gets it knocked away by Jaden Springer. One on one. Oh, beautiful basketball. Vanover that time was in drop coverage, Tom, on a ball screen, meaning he didn't go out and try to impact the ball screen. He was trying to protect. <laughs> Man, dominant. Them and Iowa are scoring 122 points per 100 possessions. That, that's as good of an offense as I've seen in a long time. 57% shooting, but double digits and turnovers for Arkansas here in this first half. Hard shot, right? Hard, really hard shot. Got him. Here's Vano. It's game tonight. That's the stat that shows that the most to me. I a shot coming. Shot clock at 10. That threat is lingering in the paint for Arkansas. Springer, 23 in red, is really well done. Yeah. Connor Vanover's mom played women's basketball in Arkansas. Still the program record in shot blocks, uh, block shots. 6-3. Contested at shot. Time. There's a foul on the three. And we got three coming for Moses Moody. Bad Jake foul. Springer's first. Yeah, Jaden. Jaden Springer and Keon Johnson both come in with a. They still got sticks his nose on the ball. I mean, everything's great till that point right there. When you lean or you lunge forward against all that stuff, and, and there's so much thrown out of first year player. But I, I trust Moses Moody as a person as much as I trust him as a basketball player. And I have tremendous trust in him in, on the floor. Yeah, I just think it's it's such a difference when it is. The feedback you get is supportive as opposed to critical. Yeah, doesn't happen often. Doesn't happen for me very much. No. I think you're doing a great job. Today. Good drive, Arkansas, just to continue to drive the ball and, and not doing crazy stuff around the rim. The driving the ball, playing off two feet, making good rim decisions, and making the right pass out of it. a Tennessee turnover. Following the Devontae Davis button, Hawks by seven, and Fulkerson able to hustle his, hustle his way into a rebound. And, and, and maybe it changes the game. I, I just I just think from talking to coaches, there's some momentum starting to build for that philosophy. In all of college ball, forget the position. Jackson, it's turned around, but he can't finish. Approach the minute mark in the first half. It's Arkansas by four. Hans out there to help. Clock at 10. Here's Springer. Seven. Oh. First half. You know how hard it is to shoot over a guy that measures 87 inches with his arms up? He's it as well as really anyone in, in, in the country. Now the Razorbacks turnover. That's their third of the uh, third by Tate, I should say. Here's James. Scobie hasn't scored tonight. They put the clamps out. Look at Sills overplaying the left side. James 
outside of field when they drag him out defensively on the perimeter. Playing and forcing one side. We talked about how that was his plan against Coleman. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Wow. <laughs> Much better going right than you realize. That was really well done. Goes down, doesn't he? I mean, you have to if you want to win the game. You want to stay on the floor. I mean, that, that's a wide open three. It's a very graceful release, but at some point the ball's got to go in for 25 and one. Good move, Arkansas. Got playing hard and he's playing fast on the offensive end. Spin, and it's lost on the way up. James may have got spread out, stacked zone by Arkansas. You got to move it, you got to cut it. You can't stand and watch right now for Tennessee. 12 on the shot clock. Got a piece of it. Near steal. Note Shot clock at six now. Springer. Five on two for Tennessee, and Viscovi brings it out. Springer. Corner three. Blockable shot, and the sprint of Springer to the corner. He scored because he ran, and Tom Hart says, fan over, fade away from 16. <laughs> That's another text coming from Tom Thibodeau saying, your shot selection is absurd. Hey! Uh, Got a beautiful fine coach. I'll come and still get my 20 for you, and I'll play my butt off doing it. Well done, Victor Baylor. Even if they lose the game, well done, Victor Baylor. Say working out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You had the mismatch at all. You, you, you guarded yourself. Note has it ripped away by Springer. That was a brutal sequence by Note. Pond's advantage. Tuck. Flick it. Penetration to respond like that. I don't, I don't understand people. I, I know basketball is important. You want to win, but man, you're booing a kid. It's trying hard. Things aren't going his way. What is wrong? What is wrong with people? You agree? You disagree? Were you I know, going I agree. Down with it? Yeah. I was not. Just going to back off the Pons. Can't make him pay. Pons has missed two threes tonight. He's three for 15 on the season. While Eric Musselman has tightened up his team shot selection, knocked down defensive team. Their offense has been very deliberate tonight. The lead the first on Vance Jackson. 18 turnovers for Arkansas in the game. Watch Johnson right here. He does a good job of staying under control. Hard for Arkansas to win hard games, and Moses Moody only has six points. And that's where he's stuck at right now. Can he change that? Wouldn't mind running some clocks. He was held. He was held twice. Yes. Yeah. He got a bump. He won't go home, but he included Kispert as a big guard. They would not back away from saying, you know what? You, you. Rick Barnes go to Folky here. Just go to Pond. Just let him jump up over someone and make a shot. The big cut. double. That's got to wide open to Scoby. Hans, huge offensive rebound. So he's got to go in. Vescovi now 0 for 4. And, and there hasn't been an Arkansas defender within 10 feet of Vescovi anytime he's taken a 3 tonight. And has not made one. Yeah. James around the corner. Fulkerson well, got a hand on it. They show double on Fulkerson. Now they dig in on him. Down four here. Note turns the corner. Not shy. This ball kicks it out to Note. Deep three. Jackson. Oh, it's halfway down. Rebounded by Tennessee. Balls by four. Here's Note. He's got 17 in this game. Behind Vandal. On Pons. Pons couldn't get it. Just you know, drive the ball. Tennessee doesn't want to foul you. Drive. Keep the game going. Oh, Tate for three. 